Welcome to the Photography Show studio here. I'm joined by street photographer Alex Webb, uh, who's going to be speaking on the super stage later on. Alex, thank you very much for joining us. Tell us what you're going to be speaking about on the stage. I'm basically going to be showing some of my life's work. And it will start with early black and white, since I started as a black and white photographer, yeah. but rapidly made the decision to turn to color after a few years. Uh, and I will, cont I will show the... the, the uh, the stretch of work throughout those years, but I'll concentrate more on books from the last 10 years. Now, famously, you did start as a black and white photographer and then move into color. Was there a watershed moment or a moment where you said, actually, color's where I see my expression, my work working better? Yes, uh, my color work came very directly out of the fact that I found myself fascinated and working in Haiti and along the U.S.-Mexico border. And these are places where color is somehow embedded in the culture. There's a sense of searing light and brilliant mm -hmm. color. And this is very different than, say, the sort of gray-brown reticence of my New England background. There's a sense of life in the street. There's a sense of people living on the stoop and in the street, not yeah. behind closed doors. But then in terms of the work that you were creating, how did that color then manifest itself? What was the draw of that color that you felt would move your work forward? Well, it, it's an emotional note. I mean, I think that for me, color is very about much about emotion. It's not about seeing colors. Mm. It's about feeling emotion. And so, you know, sometimes a red is a soothing red. Sometimes it's a disturbing, upsetting red. But it very much transforms both my understanding of the world and also what I bring back in the photographs. Now, in the blurb for your talk on the super stage, um, it talks about the spontaneous, often subconscious way in which you shoot. I want to ask about the subconscious way in which you shoot. How, how, does, how does that work? Well, I think, you know, I work very, very, very intuitively. I try as much as possible to approach a place without a lot of preconceptions, mm -hmm. to, to respond immediately and visually and emotionally to whatever I find in front of me. So in that sense, it's very much uh, a subconscious or unconscious response. It's not a rational response. I'm not saying, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to go photograph that or photograph that. It's really much more, you know, I'm curious about this place. Let's see what I will find. Let's see what I will discover. You talk about poetry as well. I think one of your more recent books was about street photography and the poetic image with, with your wife. Right. Um, when it comes to poetry, is that something that you see and go, that's poetic? Or do you hang around, do you scout out locations where you think something poetic may happen? It's really more that I feel situations. And it's not that, you know, I'm thinking, oh, it'll be poetic or anything like that. I'm just responding emotionally and visually to whatever situation it is. Okay. You know, really, on some level, it's almost like you smell the possibility of a picture. You don't know what it's going to be. Mm. There's some little something going on. You hang out a little bit. Sometimes something happens. Often it doesn't. I mean, this kind of street photography is 99.9% .9 about failure. There's a huge amount of material yeah. that doesn't make it. But every once in a while, the world gives you a little something, gives you that special moment that somehow makes the picture into something special, something surprising. We're here at the photography show. There's a lot of kit on display here. Not that much film, I have to say, um, just a lot of digital kit. What, what's your take when it comes to kit? Are you a photographer who the camera almost fades into nothing? It's all about your eye. It's all about what's presented and your response to that. Or do you find that having the right kit can help you get the better image, can help you to express yourself more? Well, look, I basically look on a camera the way a painter might look on as a paintbrush. It's an extension of the eye. So I try and make the process of finding whatever camera it is that I use as simple as possible. I want it to be totally transparent, me and yeah. the world. I'm responding to the world. That said, I do use a specific camera because that's the camera that works for me. Yeah. Uh, I tend to use a Leica rangefinder, and that has to do with the fact that I learned with a Leica rangefinder in the late 60s, yeah. and you know now I happen to use a digital Leica rangefinder. But that's the tool that works for me, that works best as an extension of the eye. Terrific. Alex, thank you very much for joining us okay. today. Have a great time at the Photography okay. Show. Thank you very much. Take care.